Hi guys, so of course you would have noticed that something's happened in the hypercubing sort of community. There's been a new 40 puzzle app and it's very cool because it's, it's the second physical 40 puzzle. Little GWS or Grant S has made a physical 2x2x2x3. Two by two by two by it's the world's first um, physical hypercuboid and it's very cool. It's um, made um, 3D printed. Um, that you know he's designed and pieced together so basically extending on from the physical two by two by two by two that Melinda released four or five years ago also um, I'd like to mention that the three C's were also designed by Luna if you, if you noticed in that in that shot there so Luna and little little GWS was also like worked together to make you know this happen um, Luna came up with the three C's, um, which is this kind of nice, you know, like an X, X kind of design, um, which, you know, has three colors on it, of course, makes, makes the three C, um, and that's, that's also really cool, um, it's kind of a cool little design, I never thought that making a three, separating a cube in three equal parts were a thing, but this little design kind of, you know, makes it, makes it, you know, a 3C, a three coloured piece. Um, and so, yeah, um, it's really cool. And they are kind of connected. Let's take that off. Um, here and here. So, and, and here's a, a layer of like four 3Cs, and here's another layer of four 3Cs. Um, and so, the 3Cs in there, the way it moves is also explained in little. G GWS's video or Grant S's video. Now I've actually just started making a um, a four C myself from his design, and so I've decided to make my own version as well with my three D printer. This is, he kindly gave me the files. I can go ahead and uh, print my own version of a two to the four. Gonna work on making a three a two by two by two by three later on. So um, yeah, so I've, I've only made this one color at the moment. Um, but I'll put I'll put more colors in later on. This is just a test to see um, how it all works, and it's a really cool design. Um, and they're connected by these little connectors. Um, so I'll put that there, and I'll show you what I mean by that. The cross section here. I've only got one side. There's normally two sides, but this is only one side. Um, you've got the connector. It's very small. Um, you can see the magnets kind of go in here. Um, they're like th three by one millimeter magnets. And they go in here and this here slides into the piece like so and the magnets just sit there and there and it's a very cool design um, you can see how there's a, there's a slot there and there's a slot there um, and so the, the the connector just goes goes in there like that and it you know creates these two parts for the magnets to, to attract from the other side um, and they just you know sit in those holes there so um, if I open this up to show you, um, so you can see how the piece opens up like so. So I'll take this piece off. So you can see how the pieces are connected. Um, um, they're very small and it's actually quite hard to assemble but you sort of get the hang of it um, you can see in there you can see there's the connectors there they go into the slots and the magnets also go in there as well it's very small magnets now I don't have the mag this, this is unmagnetized um, because this was only a test the magnets will come soon but the pieces as you can see they come out like this so there's like two sets of magnets on one sort of plane and on you know so that makes you know two four six eight ten twelve twelve magnets per sort of piece and you do the math twelve times four um, or twelve times four forty eight magnets per piece um, so we're looking here and you can see there's a connector there and there's a connector there so I'm going to take it apart to show you how to um, see what the piece looks like the pyramidal pieces so you can see there's one um, part 
I'm taking apart. So I'm going to put that there. And you can see how these just go together like so. Just go together like that. Um, so it's a really cool design. Um, that you can take these out as, if you want. So you can see how there's slots there. And there's like little tiny notches in there as well. You can um, If you actually hold up to light, you can see little parts in here as well. But if, if I... If I zoom in here, but you can see there's like little tiny notches there, and there's a notch there, and that's where the magnets go. It's very, very fiddly, but um, you can see how they go in. But here's a here's a permanent cap. Um, this is only a blue one. You can see how there's like you know it's per, it's a permanent cap, just like just like on the two of the four that Melinda has made. Um, it's like a you know a cap you can kind of see that it's you know like that and then you've got the slots there the cross sections i showed you how the piece this is just a cross section and that's like the notches that you saw like and those little notches there those are those those parts there and you know the connector just slides in like that and you know that slot goes in there that slot goes in there and it makes little tiny sort of places for the magnets to Get, get a hold of you can see, yeah so see that there so you can see that 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 fits together nicely there'll be another one on the other side as well but i don't have you know that piece but there'll be basically a symmetrical piece on the other side with the two connect with the two sort of magnets so there'll be a hole there and a hole there as well so that's how that's working so yeah um i haven't made a 3c yet a 3c would be a different design of course it's more of a piece that's cut this way and there'll be two slots there and there. But I haven't made a 3C yet, um, which I will maybe later on. But at the moment, I'm just going to make a 2 to the 4. And then I'll extend it to a 2 by 2 by 2 by 3. So that is a little just little, little thing um, that has been going in the community recently. Um, a new 2 by 2 by 2 by 3 has been designed. Um, it's very big time in hypercubing, of course. It's the next physical puzzle that has been has been designed and made. Um, and you can go to the link in the video of Grant S's video in the description. So you can it goes over canonical moves of the puzzle, which is very cool. Um, so yeah, so that is it. Um, that's what's been going on, and it's um, very cool. Yeah, I'd like to show you that. Um, just do a status update of what I'm doing as well, of with this project as well. I'm going to make my own two to the four with this design, and then I'm going to make you know a two a, a two by two by two by three cuboid. So that is very cool. Um, very pleased that this is you know kind of starting off, and it's, you know I'm you know amazed on how this kind of works. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll keep you guys updated on how I. You know make this puzzle and it's going to be very challenging of course but i'll be able to probably do it um i still got to get the magnets of course It'll be a very interesting project on top of all the stuff i've got to, I've got to also do as well but yeah so that's it thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time